What's up guys? Uh, Steve Lockhart here from Lockhart's Authentic. Uh, wanted to do a quick demonstration for you guys on our new Greasol End All line that is coming out soon. First off, I do want to say I brought my microphone in with me today, not realizing that I needed a three and a half millimeter jack, and instead I brought in a one eighth millimeter jack, or no, one eighth inch jack with me. So this thing's useless. Um, it's just here for looks and so that I can say I fucked that up. So for those of you that have been with Lockhart's for a while, you'll know that back in 2016 or 2017, we did our original Grease All End All line. We're bringing it back. Um, first off, this, we're gonna, today we're going to be looking at the water-based version, which is the melodic death metal version of the product. Um, you will see, I don't know if I can get that close enough, you see that QR code? When you get it, scan it, turn that Spotify playlist on, you're going to love it, uh, especially if you like metal. If you don't like metal, this is probably the most friendly version of metal that we're going to be providing here and with the next three products here. Alright, so let's get into the product. This is the water-based goon grease. It is the original water-based goon grease formula. Um, we have made adjustments to that formula over time. Um, the first couple of batches, I know that there were some issues where people were applying it into dry hair um, and they were getting flakes from the product. That's not good, that's not cool with us. We made some minor changes. I don't necessarily, I don't call it a reformulation because it's really not. Basically what we did, we bumped up the PEG-40 hydrogenated castor oil, if that means anything to you. We bumped that up slightly, and then we pulled back just a little bit on the PVP. So the PEG-40 gives us a little bit extra hold, which is not typically a hold uh, ingredient, but uh, by bumping it up, it thickened the product, and it offset kind of what we lost in hold with the PVP. So the hold remains the same, the styling remains the same, everything remains the same, same except for now you can style into dry hair. And you'll actually see when I do my demonstration, I am actually applying directly into dry hair. It's been in my hair now for probably 30 minutes. I'm sweating my ass off. I've got these red lights in here and it's 90 degrees here in Michigan, believe it or not. That's pretty unusual for us, but so it goes. This is the official Lockhart's log. Uh, I log all my formulas into here, log all of every, uh, every batch, guess log. That's why, then you'll see that there is a number on the bottom. If you ever have any issues with it, hit us up. We'll look up in the book, make sure it's good. So, what is the fragrance? That's what all of you are wondering about. This fragrance, we did a, a, a massive blend. So there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. It's basically like if you want a straightforward, not like notes and all that shit, uh, the fragrance has got, it's got a nice spice with a smoky ode base to it. Um, but then there's also, it's got like a sparkling shimmeriness to it, which is hard to describe. You're gonna have to check it out. I'll give you, here are the notes, which I will bring up here. The notes for this product are pink pepper, cardamom, vetiver, tobacco, nakchampa, and broxin, which is like a fizzly smell, it's awesome and ISO E Super. Any of you fragrance heads know that ISO E Super makes, it, it takes a good fragrance and makes it great. So we put some in there. All right, so let's take a look at this jar. This is probably my favorite piece of artwork that we got through the Grease All End All line. We use different elements from many different melodic death metal albums. All right, so the inside of the jar, here comes the scoop. Oh man, like jam from a jar. All right, so here we go. You want to see what the breakdown looks like. All oh, you guys always want to see that. It's nice and smooth, buttery. And we're going to apply it into the hair now. Here we go. All right, guys, so we're going to do something a little bit different here now. Um, I know a lot, of, a lot of channels like to let you just watch as, you, as they comb through their hair and do a, you know, everything that they got to do for five, ten minutes. I'm not going to do that to you. Uh, I know that you want to see the way it goes in and the, how it turns out. So you're gonna see the final product when, it, when all's said and done. But in the meantime, I am gonna take this, put it in a little square, put it at the bottom of the screen, and we're gonna talk music. Like I said, this product, the overall theme of it is melodic death metal. Any metal fans know that there is about a thousand different subgenres. This is one of my favorites. It does have, you know, it's got movement, it's got melody. It's much easier to listen to than a lot of uh, like old school stuff. Uh, which is great too. However, 
We are going to talk today about the new Black Dahlia Murder Verminous album. It is, so at first, um, the first couple listens to it, it's good. Doesn't quite sink in until probably the third or fourth listen that it's great. This is one of their best albums that they've ever released and they, that's, that's, that's no small feat because the Black Dahlia Murder, unlike a lot of other bands, which, great bands, but there's a lot of metal bands, they seem to release three, four great albums at the beginning of their careers, and then after that they just kind of become stagnant. Um, the rest of their albums just have a similar sound to them. It's, it does become, I'm sure it does become difficult to continue writing new, fresh pieces. However, the Black Dahlia Murder does that, and they do it fantastically. So this one, this album, it is much different. It's different than the other albums past. So typically the Black Dahlia Murder, they take us to, you know, creaky old castles and take us on a journey through dark dungeons. Um, you know, we, we meet vampires and monsters and werewolves. And this time we are going underground. They are taking us to the grimiest, greasiest, nastiest, scariest places that actually exist. For this album, we go down with the cannibalistic humanoids that dwell underneath us. So this album, it's 36 minutes in length, super easy to listen to. Uh, I, it's a, like a 30 minute drive into, into the shop from my home, so I can just turn this thing on, go through the whole thing. By the time I get to work, I'm already in a great mood. Every piece is a little bit different. Now one thing, one thing kind of unique to this album is typically you have Trevor Sternad, the, the vocalist, he is always front and center. He is the one taking the music along. He is, he's, he's the one painting the picture. This album, I think that's different. I think the guitars really take the front stage and, and Trevor kind of sits back a little bit and he, he interjects where he needs to interject. Now the first song that I want to touch on with this album that I think, first off, I think this is something that Black Diameter shines with every single album. Um, the very first song, Verminous, is, you know, obviously it's the, 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 the title track, um, it's the opener in the Black Dahlia Murder, it's probably their third best opener that they've ever done, uh, the best, best being on Nocturnal, and then I think Ever Black had a, had a slightly better intro track as well. Um, but this Verminous song, it does, it hits you just like the other ones, it, you, it opens up with, you know, you can hear like the slime and the gook just flowing through the, 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 the sewer system and then it, just, it kicks in and it kicks in hard and it brings us to a nice uh, a dissonant chug piece that just continues to just it, it gets you I can see them and I would see them if it wasn't for this this lockdown I would I, it was probably today um, they were gonna be coming through with testament and municipal waste I've never seen municipal waste when I saw Testament last, they absolutely tore the house down, and every single time I've seen Black Dahlia Murder, they fucking just rip my face clean off, and I'm so happy that they do. Anyway, whatever, they're gonna come back, we're gonna see them again, they're from Michigan, I'm gonna see them every single time they come through here, always have. Um, so the Verminous song, fantastic, great song, check it out. All right, so the next honorable mention song from this album that I, this one's probably my favorite, um, I, it, it's one that I really wanted to see live and the thing about it is it's not like the entire album itself it's not that great the first time you listen to it I mean it, no 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 it's good the first time you listen to it but after you hear what I'm gonna tell you about um, it is like the most the, the biggest build-up to the most satisfying ending that you'll ever hear in any any song um, so the Leather, Aprons, Scorn, it, a lot of songs, a lot of music, a lot of metal music is based around riffs, right? Um, so what will happen is they'll write a riff and then just, you know, put little filler riffs around it. With this song, they only, the main riff of the song is only played at the end of the song all the way through. And hear me out with that. So they play it two times all the way through, followed by a tremolo section of the same, it's, it's an alternate version followed by, again, the main riff, and then they close it out. However, the rest of the song, you can hear this riff coming, but it's like, why is it not finishing? Why is it, just give me something here. And then by the time it hits you, by the time that, that, that final riff 
really lands, it is the most satisfying, headbanging, just like, I want to get fucking wrecked in a pit to this song. All right, so the last honorable mention song that I'm going to bring up is probably going to be a new Black Dying Murder classic. I would imagine, and I do imagine, this song will be played at every live event from here until eternity. It is, it's an epic. Uh, it, it's much more epic than a lot of music that they put out before. Um, there's actually some, some major tonalities in this mixed with the minor tonalities. There's a lot of, a lot of different time signatures that are inter intermingling flawlessly. The Black Dahlia Murder has always been good at. That song is The Sunless Empire. That song, this song probably has the greatest it definitely is, in, in my opinion, it is my favorite guitar solo that I've ever heard come out of the Black Dahlia Murder. It's got just, it's got energy, but it's like lively, and it's, it's almost happy, but with a sense of dread behind it. So you're going to have to go listen to it. You're going to have to check that out. All right, so final thoughts on the Black Dahlia Murder's Verminous. Fantastic album. Like I said, it's going to take you a few times. Listen to it a few times. You're gonna th th this this album grows and grows and grows on you. I can't stress that enough. Um, it's got some absolute classics that I'm sure will continue to. They, they, they've got it's got staying power. Now I would say I'd probably rank this as my third favorite Black Dahlia album, just after Nocturnal and Everblack. Um, Unhallowed would be my fourth place because Unhallowed I've got. When I was a little guy, that's what I jammed. So, final thoughts. I give this four and a half stars out of five. Absolutely fantastic album. Go check it out. Fantastic album. Go get it. So, here we have the final results. I'm going to work the angles all over here for you so you can see the top, the sides, see the dice shine. Gets the job done nicely. All right, guys, so final thoughts on the water-based version of Grease All and All, the Melodic Death Metal Edition. Um, stronghold, uh, good high height, good high volume. Um, you're going to get a great shine that's going to last you throughout the day. Now, I'm not going to give you like a final thoughts uh, comparison to what the brewer has to say because I'm the brewer, so it's kind of, you know, a little bit biased. Um, uh, hopefully, the demonstration showed you how this product works. And if it looks like it's going to work for you, go ahead and grab a jar below. Uh, we have uh, these products are available now. The entire Grease All End All line is available now. You can pick any of them up at the Lockhart's Apothecary. Links below. Now, wash out on this product. It washes right out with water. Uh, you don't really need to do anything crazy there. I mean, you just water, maybe a little bit of con conditioner, and you're on your way. A little bit about hair types that I think this product will work for. And, you know, from experience, what it, ha what it will work for. Uh, people with straight hair, people with fine hair, people with thick hair, people with uh, wavy hair, it's going to work great for you. You're not going to have any issues if you want to straighten it out, if you want the slick sides. You can you can man it, you can do that with this product. Um, if you've got super curly hair, maybe avoid this one. I would uh, I would actually recommend going along the lines of maybe the unorthodox water-based pomade um, or the old school death metal pomade. Um, that might be more up your alley. So lastly, you may notice Got a different shirt on. Uh, kind of screwed things up when I originally filmed this. This is that. This is actually the first uh, first video that I have shot. Um, it's not the first one that I released, but it is the first one that I personally shot. I was trying to kind of figure out how how this was all going to flow, and I uh, just completely forgot to do this whole part. So yeah, if you guys have any questions about this product or any other product within that that we carry in the Lockhart's Apothecary, please drop that. Go ahead and drop that questions below. Um, you can also go to our website and you can contact us via email. We're we're always happy to help you guys out. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to go and subscribe to our channel. All the links to all of the music and to the products that we looked at today are going to be below. Be sure you go and pick up uh, pick up the new Verminous album. Pick up the new vinyl. It's it's out of this world. You're going to love it. Um, as I said, and if, if you don't if you don't have the money to do something like that, at least go over and give them a couple streams on Spotify or whatever streaming service that you use. Um, that always helps an artist as well. And, and be sure to share share some information about that. <laughs> that we looked at those, those are all going to be down below as well so yeah please be sure to subscribe uh 
thumbs up if you liked this video. Comment below what you liked, what you didn't like, what you think I should do differently. Um, if I've got something on my face, I don't know. If you got any sort of any any sort of comments, go ahead and drop that below. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. Um, I mean, that's that's the best thing that you can do for people on for for uh, channels on YouTube uh, is is just help them spread the word. So I will see you next time.